It's time for my final Team of the Year review of the night and we are going to have to remove my beloved Kieran Tierney to bring in the next player. It is going to be Team of the Year, Xiao Cancelo, who by the way now has a five-star weak foot and that will definitely aid him playing the left-back role with him being right-footed. So that's a great boost to see. Looks like an awesome card and I'm looking forward to trying it out today. If you need some coins to improve your ultimate team, the cheapest place to get them is at IG Vault and there is a link in the description. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself an even bigger discount off your order. So let's have a chat then about this item. What is there to like? Pretty much everything on paper because this looks like a card that you can play in any position. Like, his shooting attributes aren't amazing, but with the right chem style, they're quite good. So you could actually play him as a striker if you wanted to do so. Like, you can definitely play this guy in midfield, and I get the feeling that's what a lot of people are going to do, especially with that 5-star weak foot. But for this review, we're just going to keep him at left back and see how he does there. But, uh, yeah, he looks incredible, and like I've said, looks like he can do a job in pretty much any kind of role. Just put, you know, either an attacking heavy chem style on him or a defending heavy chem style on him, and he's going to fit whatever position you want to put him in, obviously, apart from goal keeper but yeah what a card so he's coming in at just over a mil on playstation just under a mil on xbox and the chem style for this guy honestly just depends on where you want to play him like i've said numerous times the popular one for him on footbin is going to be anchor and if you're playing him at right back that is the choice maxes out his pace makes his defending incredible and also makes his physicals just ridiculous so yeah if you want to use him as a cdm or as a left back or right back that is the chem style but i get the feeling a lot of people can use this guy in midfield and to be honest midfield of a basic looks outstanding too it took long enough, but eventually we've got a game, and okay, he's going to get tested well here because we're up against Anine Ronaldo. Cancelo comes across, just dispossesses Klaus with ease and sends us on our way. Interesting. Nice deflection there to get Dekreis the ball. Nice. Wasn't the intended, but it's going to pay off for us because now there's a chance for George Best to score, and that's a great team goal. Well played. Well, now it's going to be interesting for Cancelo because I've got Mane sent off. I didn't do it intentionally, shockingly, but um, yeah, there's going to be a big gap down that left edge now, so we'll see how Cancelo does. Okay, at the break, all square at 1-1. We got off to a great start, but then I got Mane sent off with a stupid challenge, and now it's going to be an uphill battle in the second half. I mean, we are going to struggle down this edge, but Cancelo's done really well to nab that ball. All right, let's switch play. Let's get it onto the other side. Let's attack down the right. Just kidding, bringing it back. Should we attack down the left? It's not a bad ball, just couldn't get inside quick enough with Kane. I see that run. Nice ball into Aubameyang. Can we get the shot away with him? Coming inside, finesse. Oh, there's four. Can sell to bring us out of trouble. We'll switch play to the right side. And hopefully Walker gets on the end of this. He does. Love that. Oh, nice. Good response from the counter-attack. Oh, he's bringing his keeper out. And we're going to score one of the most scrappy goals you'll ever see. I think he's given up now. And we have done so well to just dominate with 10 men. And following that goal, my opponent does give up and he rage quits. So, uh, yeah, very good debut from Cantella, to be fair. He did really, really well down that left edge. Not just offensively, but defensively as well. And that's exactly what we expect from a team of the year card like his, who just has some incredible stats in all areas. Next out in, and once again, we're up against Ginola. He is everywhere lately. I think I must have been like the only person to not get him out of the hero pick. Oh, I can sell with the block. I mean, that was going to get saved anywhere, anywhere. But um, yeah, nice to know he was at the back to block it just in case. But we've got a chance to attack now. We've cancelled down this edge. He's looking for the pass. He thinks I'm going to pass it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to cross it. I'm not going to get the cross in, but I'm going to win this header. And that header almost got through. Okay, random quit there. We'll take it. We face Messi and Icardi in this one, so it's going to be Cancelo against Messi. Let's see how he does. Cardi trying a bit of trickery, but Cancelo's having none of that. Sticks to him like glue and wins the ball off him. Wee. See you later. Sat him down. Sent him on his way. What a ball that is for George Best. Can we get a goal off this? Oh, that would have been nice. And we almost did. Right, let's give Cancelo a set piece. I think he deserves it. Deserves to come up field for a bit. Oh, he almost set one up as well. Varane straight at the keeper. 
Nice, good positioning. Just jock it, jock it, nab the ball. Ball's in behind. Messi up Messi. against Cancelo, and there's only one winner here. Portuguese fullback puts Messi on the floor and steals possession. Cancelo gets in behind, gives the ball to Martinelli, puts it across the box, and that's a great goal. Good attack from the fullback, getting forward, linking up with the players, and giving us a two goal lead. Oh, a horrible time for blow half time. That could have been through Aubameyang. Anyway, 2 1 up at the break. Messi just instantly nabbed of the ball by Cancelo. Here's a chance. Puts the ball through for Harry Kane. He's going to go for that near post strike and he's going to score. Nice. Good nab there. Good nab. And if Kane gets himself into a good area, he's got a chance to score. And he does exactly. Oh, what a weird animation that was. And there's full time. Nice 4 1 victory in this matchup. Cancelo outstanding again. So, after a few games with Cancelo in the team, what do I make of this card? Honestly, straight up, brilliant. Really, really premium fullback option. And I'll look in a minute, but I'm going to say right now, the best fullback in the game that I've used personally, I just think he's class and. There really isn't a downside to this card. He does like to get forward, so you might want to put stay back while attacking on him if you don't want to use him in an advanced way. But, like, he's just... He was just so complete for me. He just did everything. He felt quick. He felt responsive. He could defend. He could attack. And with the five-star weak foot, I, the guy could just do it all. And that just made him so easy to use. And to, to be honest, like, towards the end of games, once I, like, got ahead... I was just going on runs with this guy, just because it was fun. Like, he's a fun player to have in possession of the ball, and I can say confidently, you can definitely play this guy in other roles other than fullback, because he just has the technical stats to play other roles. He would make for a very good winger, in my opinion. You might want to go for a more attacking heavy chem style, but he could do a job, um, certainly, in an attacking role. And as, a, like, a midfielder, like, he would be insane. Like, as a centre mid, like a box-to-box, -box, or even as just a CDM, he would do a ridiculously good job. So, yeah, you definitely get some great utility value out of this card. So, um, yeah, positives, pretty much everything. Um, and, yeah, negatives, there isn't really one. Like I've already said, uh, the fact that he likes to get forward might annoy some people because he really does like to join in with attacks, but just put stay back while attacking on, and that won't be a problem as much. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a very high score. Big thumbs up from me, by the way. Awesome, awesome card. So I just quickly want to pull up all the other left-back options that you have in the game. Like, it goes without, like, saying he is the best Premier League left-back you are going to be able to get. He's miles better than that Robertson card. And unfortunately for me, he is better than Kieran Tierney as well, who I absolutely love in this game. He was my favourite Premier League left-back up until this point. But now... It's his Cancelo because it's just so damn good. And to be fair, with him having the five-star weak foot and being right-footed, he's not just the best left-back available in the game. I'm also going to say right now, I think he's the best right-back available in the game as well. Now, I do have to point out, I have not tried out um, Cafu. Like, I haven't tried out any of his cards, so I do need to point that out straight away. But in terms of right-backs, I do believe this Cancelo to be the best one in the game. And I've used Hakimi as well. But I just feel like this Cancelo just offers a little bit more. Like, he's just... Just, just seems to win game. He just seems to have everything. Whereas Hakimi, um, although he was extremely good, like really, really good, just not as responsive in my opinion. But I guess Hakimi is a bit more physical. So it depends what you want. But I, I prefer this Cancelo as a fullback. I just think so, so good. So yeah, the best left back and right back, in my opinion, is this item right here. So guys, those are my thoughts on the 94 rated Team of the Year Zhao Cancelo. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like rating on it. Any questions, pop them down below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.